is a beautiful, very good morning here in Los Angeles. I'm up early, guys. It is currently 9 a.m. and I'm headed to the Beverly Center because I want to really get these triple black uncaged ultra boost. There seems like there's no line, so that's a good sign. I guess people are not going crazy for this ultra boost for once. Usually for Beverly Center, if it's a sneaker release, people are lined up all right here. Unless they switched it up. One of the biggest cancers on YouTube, and I hate to use the word cancer, is the comments. You can't run away from negative comments. You can delete or ban as many users as you want, but you will never get away from the negative comments. And I don't look at the comments, but yesterday for some reason, like after a month or so, I just looked at the comments and literally every single one of them was negative. I'm not gonna rant about it, I'm just gonna say today, let's try to spread some love, positive vibes. You know, negative negativity won't get you anywhere in life. I'd like to see some positive vibes in here. But yet a random guy is taking roll, but yet there's supposed to be a line. How does any of this make sense? Like I know you can speak English, I know you know logic, and Everybody just admit it's English. bullshit. Looks like I'm taking an L today because I'm like 28th in line and apparently they only had 21 pairs of the triple black uncaged. It's a no-go for me. The only reason why I'm still following this line is because uh, I'm waiting to see if a fight breaks out because some guy was going crazy. He's just mad because somebody in the front of the line made a list of everybody in line but that guy who made the list who doesn't work here. So when the Foot Locker employee came he just said, okay, line up, and then the, he's like, the other guy's like, oh, why'd you make, I don't know, some BS. It was real stupid. Start the morning off with the big L. Here we go. I'll tell you guys something. Patience is key. And the reason why I say that is because I'm not just going to go pay resell for the sneaker. One thing that I kind of went away from recently is the hunt. And I want to get back to that because that made me enjoy sneakers and enjoy the culture more. I've been paying resell on a lot of sneakers. Like all my Yeezys have just been resell. Like buying them early. Like oh I need them. Let me pay extra. Let me pay resell. I just had the mindset to where I was like oh I'm, I'm not going to win any raffles. Like I'll just pay resell now so I don't have to pay resell later before it skyrockets and that's not how I want to do things anymore because I might do it here and there you know what I'm saying when I know something's gonna be very impossible but if I know that, that I have a chance to get it for retail I'm gonna go on the hunt because that will make me appreciate the shoe more and it also creates a story for the sneaker so but when you're just paying resale it just doesn't really have a story it's just like hey I paid oh wow we almost crashed it's all about what matters to you so what matters to me is enjoying the culture and being able to appreciate my sneakers more sneakers are my hobby you know what i'm saying i'm fortunate enough to be able to showcase it to you guys and you know build a following off of having a passion for sneakers i want to make this last i want to enjoy sneakers for as long as i can for as long as possible i don't want to ever lose this love i don't want to ever quit the sneaker game you know what i mean i don't know if i hope you guys understand where i'm coming from hi did you guys get the triple black uncaged ultra boost no, that was yesterday and all the stores are sold out. Oh, I thought they come out today. No, they came out yesterday. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oops. The good thing about the sneaker game is when one sneaker gives you an L. There's always other sneakers that come out on Saturdays. I'm gonna go try to get these Jordan 9s, which I know are gonna be sitting everywhere, but I really do like them. I like them more than the 11s. I've told you guys that before, so I'm at the Grove, I'm gonna get the Jordan 9s. I think it should be easy to get. Thank you. 
you know, Jordans have been getting a lot of uh, heat and hate because the, um, a lot of releases sit on shelves. But I think this is what we wanted, like, thank you. This is what we wanted. We didn't want to have to camp out for sneakers and things like that. And it makes the people who actually want them able to get them. Some of the price points are high, but that's how the game is, man. Okay, so I completely forgot about Undefeated. I don't even know if they're getting the damn shoe, but I just passed by and there's a huge line. Hopefully we'll take this L and turn it into a W. Because if you take two L's and put them together, you can make a W, you know what I'm saying? You guys waiting for? Oh shit! He's a YouTuber, huh? Yeah. Guys, there's some hope. I'm so freaking pissed off. When I walked up to the line, I asked people online. They said they don't know. The undefeated employee walks up, and I'm like, "Yo, are you guys getting the triple black uncaged ultra boost?" And he says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." So I get in line. I wait here for freaking 20, 30 minutes. I freaking go inside. I'm like, "Oh." You guys have the uncaged? He's like, no, no, we didn't get that. We only got Pusha T. The same guy. Why the? F why did you tell me you had it, but you didn't? You didn't have it. Like I just wasted my freaking time. I didn't even put money in the meter. I just realized that. So if I have another freaking parking ticket, I'm gonna be pissed. My trunk's probably full of L's. I'm just picking up L's left and right all over Los Angeles, guys. Luckily, no parking ticket, so that's good. I just have the one from yesterday.